Hello everybody and welcome back to my Max Payne playthrough. Draw back here and we're leaving off where we left off last time. Oh, oh god. A great start. A great start. This day just got a little bit worse. Alright, here we go. Let's use some of the pain pills. There's no need to use bolt on there. Moving right along. Oh yeah. Yo! Hey, yo! Yo, su su oh, sucker. Oh yeah, this guy runs away, right? Anyway, moving right along down the sewers. This is the real Jersey Shore. Just a sewage ridden area. Gross water. And people with accents. And I just shot the ground. Oh. Look at those realistic blood graphics. I think F5 is safe. Yeah, it is. Quick dip for you. What the hell was that? Well, I've died, so we already know what that is. Give me the detonator. Alright, here's the hard part. Part with the vault. The door had been welded shut ages ago and the bomb was missing a detonator. Oh, actually there's a little bit more. Oh, here we go. Here's the vault. So I didn't have too much luck last time with the uh, sawed-off shotgun, so we're going to try the okay, Desert fellas. Eagle this time. Police are on their way. New York's finest are going to be here. Get up, Max, get up! Man, this is tough. I'm just gonna take it slow and steady. Hopefully that'll win the race for me. Oh! God, I'm nervous. I've died here. Enough. About time, here we go. You can never be too careful with all the palm trees in this vault. Oh, uh. oh. oh, I wasn't expecting that at all. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Oh, did I die? Did I die? No, I didn't die. Where is this guy? God, I have, like, no help. I'm so... There's gotta be some pain pills around here somewhere. We come to you now live from the crime scene. Who is this? Right back at you. This is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. You are to cease your criminal activities and surrender immediately. Sure thing, Jim. 
Me and the boys have been talking, and everyone's real sorry. They'll never do it again. Who the hell is this? <laughs> Being placed at the scene of a bank robbery wouldn't have tipped the odds in my favor. Oh, thank God. x pain has got a real sense of humor, doesn't he? The bank robber's score lay on the table. Let's take a look. The bank robbers have been after Acer Corporation bonds. The Acer success story had recently been on every channel and on the cover of every magazine. Ah, Acer, the building, and the opening cutscene. Plot thickens. The bank robbers had left their tools on the table. Judging by the detonators, the crooks had bought enough explosives to send Lady Liberty into orbit. I guess bonds are a lot easier to carry than huge gold bricks. Oh! God. Well, that's what happens when I'm not paying attention. Oh! Grenades? I think I'm just shooting the bottom of the stairs. Blow this popsicle stands. So realistic. And we're back at hostage. Hold is that, it. Is that Alex? Max, Jesus, you almost gave me a heart attack. I nearly shot you. Alex, we're glad to see you. What the hell's going on? There are more corpses here than at the city morgue. It's an armed robbery. A tunnel job straight to the Roscoe Bank vault through the old uh -oh. station wall. Is this why? This is Lupino's gig? This is Lupino's doing? Lupino's men? Really? You sure know how to pick a place? Can you get through? No, it's locked. We gotta get out of here. If it's Lupino, it's... Alex? Alex! No! There was nothing I could do. He was dead. I could tell by the empty, accusing stare of his eyes. Man, Max Payne is... Oh, just bad luck to everybody. <laughs> Alex, shooting, taking candy from him, baby, and shooting fish in the barrel. One shot, one kill. I wonder if you can get a soda. Oh, you can. Actually, I should probably have gone the way that said exit. That probably would have made a little bit more sense. No? Oh, do I buy a card? Oh, pancakes. And the exit control. Uh oh. Better put my huge shotgun away. Alex had kept me relatively sane for the past three years. Now I didn't know how I felt. Somehow he had stumbled upon something big and ended up stepping on Jack Lupino's toes. Oh, chapter three. Playing at Bogart. Bogart. Lupino ran his racket of sex, drugs, and contract killings from a sleazy hotel in a slum block of tenements. The NYPD was closing in. I could hear the sirens. 
Their wail was a crescendo. Lupino thought he could get us by taking Alex out and leaving me to take the fall for it. All he had gotten was my attention. I went for the hotel first. It was a sad old thing with flickering lamps and faded colors, cheap mobster punks and tired-eyed prostitutes. I walked straight in, playing at Bogart, like I'd done a hundred times before. The place was run by a couple of murdering mobsters with shark smiles. The Finito Brothers. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the pain in the butt. Painted a max. You're killing me. If you make that up yourselves, you'd get some wine out downstairs to come up with it. Don't answer that. A rhetorical question. I got something for the boss. Lupino around? That kind of depends on who's asking. A friend or a junk squad plant? The don't answer. It's one of them, uh, how do you put it, uh, rhetorical questions. Lupino ain't here, but he says bye. Lupino wasn't in his cheap hotel. Instead, I ran into the Finito brothers. My cover had been blown. The door slammed shut behind me. And then I was dodging bullets like raindrops. Oh. oh, looks like the Finito brothers are Finito. <laughs> A letter on the desk caught my eye. It did? I had met Lupino only once. The gangster ran all his rackets through his right-hand man, Vinny Gagnidi. Gagnidi was a high-strung whiner on the verge of breaking apart, like an overamped Energizer bunny. He had the brains to run the business, but he lacked the balls, always falling short, taking his frustration out on underage addicts and call girls. The V deal goes down at your hotel. Jack's exact words, quote, Vinny, you're in charge of this one, unquote. Rico Muerte is coming to see you through. Anything goes wrong and everybody's gonna get dead. Goes double for you. Treat this guy real good. Anything he wants, you give him. Don't screw this up or you're finito, finitos. A V deal meant added security, locked doors, and lots of nervous thugs with itchy trigger fingers. I'd seen nothing coming in, but that didn't mean it hadn't been there. Rico Muerte was a regular Kaiser Soze, a spook story told to keep the apes in line. 313. The finitos had scribbled Muerte's room number on the note's margin. Oh, everything's more than all right. You're right in there? They're not answering. Call the others. They're going to come quick. Okay, but we can't wait for them. We've got to go in now. Forces, we're coming in. There he is. All these guys have the same death phrase. And really nice scarves. Look at that. Some nice stuff. Should probably save it. Oh, yeah. Getting out was not going to be easy. The staircase was locked and the elevator had been busted for a decade or more. Let's see what's in here. Oh, another place where pain pills are just lying around. What the? Is that a washing machine in the bathroom? And a nudie magazine? I don't even want to know. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, oh, oh baby. Um, I guess this is the right way to go. Oh. Where do I go? Okay, so... Alright, so this is where I came from. Might as well check this. It's definitely the right way to go. Oh. In his press conference today, the mayor stated that Valkyr represents a clear danger to New York and called for drastic actions to eliminate the problem. 
On today's top story, the Valkyr crisis worsens with the murder of DEA Special Agent Alex Balder. Special Agent Balder had been shot repeatedly from a point-blank range. The gunman has been identified as Max Payne. The noose is sure to tighten around this fugitive criminal, as more NYPD units join the search to apprehend him. I had just gotten my 15 minutes of fame. Well, and things go from bad to worse. Alright, now what the hell am I supposed to do? Uh, oh, let me check the door upstairs. Maybe that opened up. Actually, yeah. Why didn't I think of that before? Oh, nothing there. Yeah, something's wrong with the bosses. Pain's there and they're not answering. Let's go already. Pain's gonna pay in spades. Hey! Two choices. Um, let's, let's explore around here a little bit. Oh, is this the V? Maybe. <laughs> That's one hell of a door. Let's get a snack real quick. Yo! Oh, 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 God. I think so, Cluster. Alright. Making our way to 313. Previously on Lords and Ladies. Lady Amelia, Marquis Valentine asks for an audience. Thank you, Lawrence. My lady. My lord. And hey. now, an all new episode of Lords and Ladies. Brought to you in part by Acer Corporation. My lady. My lord. My lady, there is a matter of great importance I must bring to your attention. My lord, there is? Indeed, my lady, there is indeed. From the very first moment we met, upon that distant forest path, there has been sunlight in the autumn leaves blazing like the colors of your hair. Oh, my lord, you should not speak so. But, my lady, I must, I must. My lord, no, I forbid you. This cannot be, this must not be. But why, my love, why? My lord, it is too dreadful. Do not force me to speak the words. My lady, I beg of you, I must know. I would rather die than not know. Yes, my lord, we should both be dead, for this shame is too great for the living. My lord, I am... My lord, I am your long-lost sister. <laughs> That's a little bit awkward. What a fantastic show. I'd watch that show. It's better than most of the stuff on TV right now. There he is! Come over here, buddy. Oh, there are more. God. Oh, my heart's pounding. God, I'm loving Max Payne so far. Tonight, the city's fight against the nightmare drug Valkyr took a turn for the worse, as DEA Special Agent Alex Balder was found brutally slain at the Roscoe Street subway station. A suspect was seen leaving the site only moments after the shots had been fired, and the NYPD is currently in pursuit of Max Payne, a repeated felon believed to be armed and extremely dangerous. And now the weather. The worst winter storm in recorded history continues to pound the city. Mm. <laughs> Uh, 
I, uh... I... <laughs> All I can say is... Those pillows look extremely uncomfortable. Damn, damn pillows. Um, oh, that's where I got the snack. V-head junkies could go off without a warning. I had to be careful. Shotgun flat bat blast to the face will do it. Ah, uh, oh, damn it! I didn't save it. Uh, all right, well, this is a playthrough, so we're just gonna run run through everything. In his press conference today. You guys got that. All right, yeah, moving right wrong along. With the bosses. Deja vu. Lords and ladies. Yo! Lady Amelia, Marky Valentine asks for an audience. Thank you, Lawrence. My lady. My lord. And now, an all new episode of Lords and Ladies, brought to you in part by oh, we already know the end of Lords and Ladies. V head junkies could go off without a warning. I had to be careful. My lady. My lord. I didn't find this bathroom last night. My lord, there is. Uh. Um. Oh, this where I died last? Can't be too careful. Let's do a quick save. Junkie. I don't and some ammo. I'm not gonna kill him this time. That was mean. Get him! Save it there, because I don't want to do that again. Oh, I got a Molotov cocktail. 
I'll, I'll give that a try. Use that on the next socket that comes on through. Thinks he can take max pain. I found Muerte's room. Actually, I should probably use probably use a shotgun. Yeah, and there was a trap. Muerte had received a letter. Our investigation had turned up nothing to link Angelo Punchinello, the head of the Punchinello family, to Valkyr. All tracks had ended with Jack Lupino. The letter in Muerte's room was signed by the Don himself. It was the first hint that the Kingpin knew what was brewing inside his syndicate. The trouble you got into after the Chicago screw-up. The Punchinello family bailed you out. You have been waiting for a chance to pay us back. One of our trusted boys has a monkey the size of King Kong on his back. We need your special skills for backup on a major deal. Collecting evidence had gotten old a few hundred bullets back. I was already so far past the point of no return, I couldn't even remember what it looked like when I had passed it. Man, what a line. that you don't hold the Molotov cocktail, you just throw it right away. I will uh, keep that in mind for next time. I found Muerte's room. Leaving the toilet paper like that. Ugh. Um, right, right. Where Dave evidence. received a letter. Collecting evidence got old a few hundred bullets ago. So far past the line, you can't remember where he passed it. Our investigation. So uh, let's give the Molotov cocktail another try. <laughs> and the fire extinguisher went off. Huh. That's not how they work. So, whatever. What the hell? <laughs> Told you. God damn. I thought it was a bomb for sure. Save it again. Oh, 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 it's just a V junkie. Let's explore a little bit more. Locked. The hooker had left her diary on the table. belonged to a hooker named Candy Dawn. The read would have made a vice cop blush. Had talks with the mystery hag over the phone again. Sent to the latest one-eyed Alfred tape. As long as the hag keeps paying for the tapes, the old man could come every day for all I care. She had a nice sideline, making secret X-rated flicks of her clients and selling them to the highest bidder. They would get her killed if her V-fix for the day didn't do it first. Ooh. Uh, 
Um, alright. That's not a door. That's not a door either. This door. That's where I came from. Tim, go get him. No way. Probably should have taken my time. Oh no. Close call. You're right, the elevators are still broken. Unless this one works. That's where I came in. confused uh makes you go I don't know what that says God, I'm really confused. Where the hell do I go? Oh. Alright. The old service elevator rumbled down to the bowels of Jack Lapino's hotel. And with that, I've been Drawback hope to catch you next time when we find out what's at the bottom of the elevator shaft. Bye-bye.